Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. Alright guys, let's begin! So the easy way to remember all the main causes, use our acronym DRUMS because your heart kind of acts like a drum. So D is for dental or oral surgery. We give prophylactic antibiotics and also degenerative heart disease called Marfan syndrome. Now R is for resistance to major antibiotics. Even if your patients take these prophylactic protective antibiotics before their dental appointments, guys, they might not even work if they have long-term resistance to major antibiotics. Which brings up our next point, U. U is for untreated strep throat and even untreated rheumatic fever. This is a main cause here, huge test tip. Untreated strep throat can lead to an even nastier infection called rheumatic fever, aka rheumatic heart disease, and then to endocarditis and then to death. Who would ever thought that a sore throat could lead to a broken heart? So M is for major heart surgery. We all know that repairing heart valves can be risky, but even cabbage, so yes, a cabbage, a coronary artery bypass graft for heart attack patients, or even implanting pacemakers. So guys, anything that opens the heart up during surgery to any possible infections is a huge risk for endocarditis. And lastly, S is for sticking dirty needles, even for medical use, tattoos, and even piercings. Guys, anything that opens your body up to infection, whether it's opening your chest for heart surgery or opening the skin with dirty needles or even opening your gums in dental surgery, it all revolves around protecting your patients from infection. So guys, especially patients with history of heart problems, they're the most at risk. Now for diagnostic tests for infective endocarditis, we do both blood cultures and an echocardiogram. The blood cultures help pinpoint which kind of germ it is so we can match it better to a drug that will kill it best. This is called Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. Alright guys, see you next time.